Hey everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I am Ishan Sharma and today we'll be talking about some ways with which you can become a great self-taught developer. I hope you'll enjoy and now let's get started with this video. Okay, so first of all, everyone out there is going to be a self-taught developer, right? A lot of us don't learn software development in our colleges whenever whatever they do teach it's more about computer science it's more about problem solving it's more related towards the theoretical concepts right what you'll be doing in software development is like app development or website development things of that nature you will not be able to learn that in some college degree you will have to learn it on your own right so in a sense a lot of us are going to be self-taught developers okay so let's talk about what are these ways okay the first one would be to start reading the books okay or you can also include documentation in that now what happens is that you can take a look at the online videos online courses available but the problem is that a lot of the times the developers that are actually teaching that they might have some opinions and based on that opinions they might say that okay this technology is good and this technology is not so good right so they have their own opinions and based on that they are teaching you whatever they know while when you would take a look at some book or some documentation that is more neutral okay so that is what i would say uh, take a look at these you know books that you can read that will teach you how software development actually happens a great series that i like to you know i read previously was actually called as head first java or you can also find the complete head first java series they have had first uh, javascript head first react all of these are available and you can take a look at them they are really funny and it's very simple to understand everything that they are talking about so that is what i would say you can start by reading books and that would teach you how it really works properly and documentation as well all right now moving on to the second one and this would be to start taking up some online courses or some videos to learn these particular software development skills now what you can do is that you can take a look at the lot of courses that we have on the geeks for geeks platform itself if you want to learn about a particular technology say python or javascript or whatever that would be you can learn it on our own platform and so this is the method that a lot of developers actually choose to learn something by watching videos and tutorials of it this this works for a lot of people but there are a few problems you know a lot of times we just keep postponing creating projects which i think is really important and we get into the vicious cycle of watching one video after another after another and so that should definitely not happen and moving on to the third part that would be again to create these projects okay you need to build projects as much as possible as i've said in the previous point you need to show that you have this practical experience it does not matter if you know all of these skills theoretically if you cannot build a simple project using it okay so spend a lot of time in building projects as much as you can uh, a lot of the people have this question that how should i find the idea for the project to make it's very simple look around you you have a lot of these applications right you have whatsapp you have instagram you have the snapchat's disappearing message feature uh, you have discord slack all of these softwares are created by some developer and you can also try to imitate it you can try to create something similar to that okay the stories feature you can try to build it up recently there was this application called as clubhouse that is gaining a lot of traction try to build a clubhouse uh, if you know react native or whatever technology you are learning you can start building that up using that technology that's what i would say i mean just keep focusing on building projects as much as you can that would teach you a lot it would also add weight to your cv and you can just tell them that that okay this is the experience that i have these are the projects i've created and uh, for sure they will be grilling you they'll be asking that okay why did you use this technology why not that technology and so you should be able to properly answer it right but that's what i would say the third point is to spend as much time as possible on to building projects if you are a beginner just just try to build some simple projects like calculator uh, snake game some very simple project that would teach you how it really works okay that would be my third point moving on to the fourth one and this would be to join some developer communities okay now this can be online this can be offline as well but it mostly happens online especially due to the pandemic and what you can do is that you can start looking 
forward to joining these communities because these communities are really amazing first of all you'll get to meet with a lot of amazing developers people who are doing better than you you can try to learn from them you can read their own code and you will understand how they think about a particular problem and what is their approach to solving something you will be exposed to a lot of other events hackathons uh, and it would just be a great experience for you right you will also get a lot of opportunities and uh, that will really be amazing for your own software developer journey take a look at any club that you can join even if you have a club in your own college take a look at that do join and try to contribute as much as possible to the community that would be my fourth point to join some community and uh, that way you can become a better developer overall moving on to the next part and that would be the fifth one which is to read other people's code okay and you can do that the best way to do that would be to just go to github and just search for a open source project that is related to your particular field let's say you are into maybe machine learning so you can take a look at some applications that use machine learning models you can try to open it up see if you are able to interpret what all is written if you are able to understand how everything is written and just go about it understand what is good code what is bad code what are these things like don't repeat yourself diy uh write everything twice wet and all so you'll learn a lot of good code practices when you would you know see other people writing code this is really important when you would go into top tech companies all they really do is that they work in a collaborative manner right so let's say you are building up a feature it is not one person building up the feature it is more like a bunch of people that are developers that are interested to contribute and so they are building this up that is what i would say this would be my fifth point and uh, now moving on to the sixth point this would be to attend coding boot camps okay now this is something new this is happening in us for a long time but it started coming up in in india recently basically what happens is that you can just go to these boot camps in which they will train you and uh, they will teach you all the skills in a short span of time and you'll be able to better learn it properly now there are also these mini boot camps that you can join let's say you've learned react for example and you want to take it to the next level you've learned about style components you've learned learned about redux and all and now you want to learn about server side rendering for example you can learn next js and for that you can take like a mini boot camp in which one week they are putting in a lot of time to learn about next js and how it works what is vercel everything about it right so you can take a look at that if you are interested just an example of how you can you know attend these coding boot camps and that way you can learn how everything really works okay so that was my sixth one moving on to the final and the seventh one that would be to attend and to participate in programming contests okay now i'm saying programming contests because you want to you know you're doing competitive programming if you're not doing that then you can aim for hackathons all right so uh, spend some time find out these challenges that are happening online maybe you can use websites like top coder uh code forces code share whatever there is icpc and you can attend these you can try to participate and you can try your best to actually get something good out of this thing so yeah take a look at this if you are interested that would be my seventh and last step to attend these programming contests and then you can decide whatever you want to maybe you want to get like a longer challenge or you want to go for a shorter challenge whatever there is you would also be getting some cash prizes or some other prizes that you can get benefits uh that would also be great the swags are also amazing and not talking about hackathons this is just a great way for you to implement something in a short span of time and then also network with people find opportunities for you and uh, you might also end up winning some prizes so yeah guys that would be pretty much it i hope this video was insightful if you have any questions make sure that you let me know in the comment section down below and even take a look at the courses that we have on the geeks for geeks website if you are interested and i will see you all in the next video